Hello everyone, welcome to Castles in the Sky. This is the debut game from The Tall Trees. They describe it as a video game picture book. From what I've seen, it looks to me like just a wonderful, warm, and hopeful bedtime story. A balm for the soul, if you will. Which is why I'm bringing out my soothing voice. I read an article about someone's experience with the game on Rock Paper Shotgun. A link to it will be in the description. And it's such a beautiful piece that I really recommend reading it. Regardless of whether you've already played or seen the game played before, the article really stands on its own. It's just a wonderful piece. Castles in the Sky is currently available from the developer's website for the extremely cheap price of $1.50. Link to that will also be in the description. Okay, get ready to relax and let the day's worries disappear. This game has no real challenge, no real puzzles. It's really not about not about beating it, it's just about just about enjoying it, enjoying the experience. Okay. Up, up we go, into the clouds. Let's grab onto the balloon. There's books of trains and books of cars and books of little bugs that fly. But here's a catalog of things that happen in the wide blue sky. So you control the character by holding down the mouse button to charge up your jump. And then he jumps up and he follows your mouse wherever you want him to go. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Don't you just love that ecstatic look of joy on his face? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and the music is just wonderful. There's solace in the clouds, my friend, and wonders passing by and by. So bend your knees, away you go, to look for castles in the sky. The ground's already far away. The world below looks very small, and bikes and cars and dogs and trees are barely anything at all. So those things that I just hit that made those noises, they might they might look like collectibles at first, because that's a very typical thing, uh, very typical thing to see in video games. But they're actually not. There's there's no score of any sort. They don't unlock anything. They're just literally the only reason to hit them is just for the pleasure of hearing the noises they make, and that is reason enough to me because they sound beautiful. When I was just a little child, I thought clouds were caught by men roped them down to hang above, then let them loose to drift again. But now you see that clouds are born in secret places in the sky. and tucked away from earthly folk, but plain to see for you and I. See, you and I, my little one, can see the world through different eyes. We see the birds are flying south. We see the gardens in the skies. <laughs> Look at the plants just blowing in the wind. God, this really is just a wonderful experience, isn't it? Just everything about it is just a pure feeling of just joy and calm. And <laughs> there goes a kite. And messages passed through the air. I miss the things we used to do. From lovers, parents, bosses, friends. The trees we climbed. The kites we flew.
And higher still, the air is clear, a biplane passes overhead, with cargo packed for far away and polished metal gleaming red. Where do the lost balloons all go? Balloons that fly from people's hands. I'll find a new home in the sky to carry folks to far off lands. Now the night is drawing in. Yes, it is. The shadows lengthen down below. And couples sit in garden chairs and talk content in evening's glow. Oh, did I just see a shooting star? I think I did. And look, emerging from the clouds, a really rather special sight. The fireflies come out and dance to welcome in the coming night. <laughs> look at them. Beautiful. Are they going to follow me? They are following me. <laughs> hey, little guys. Come with me. Astronomers begin their work as darkness falls far down below with telescopes and lunar maps. They chart the starry ways to go. Travelers in high-speed trains look up to see the glowing lights and press their hands against the glass. The train moves onward through the night. The earth below is wreathed in clouds. The stars are cold, the night is clear, and folks below are tucked in bed. It's not that far to go, my dear. But down on earth, the bakers work to make tomorrow's loaves of bread.
and mail trains rumble through the dark, all packed with letters to be read. I know there's still some hiding over here. Here we go. And now at last, the gentle moon. Its surface marked with ancient scars and home to you, my little one, who sleeps beneath the shining stars. The birds are waiting for the light, the corn is growing through the night, the poplars rustle in the breeze, the apples grow upon the trees. You've come so far, your journey's done, the, the stars are arcing overhead, You've seen the castles in the sky. It's time for you to go to bed. Wow, thank you for playing. Thank you for making that game. That... That might be the first time I've ever cried from a game, simply because of how beautiful it is. I've cried before in games because of how sad they are, but that was not sad, that was... Maybe the most utterly beautiful game I've ever played. Wow. That's about all I can say. And it was only, what, it was like 12 minutes or so? And that's all it took. Such a short amount of time, and yet... So utterly beautiful and effective. That was just lovely. I love that so much. That's about all I can think of to say. It is incredibly beautiful, incredibly joyful, and just wonderful. Okay. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed watching me play through Castles in the Sky.